Hi Leo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are the current energies for you in the area of love? What are the current energies for you in the area of love? Okay Leo, so let's see what's going on with you here. Let's see if we can get a general overall energy for you in regards to love, in regards to relationship. Okay, first card we have here. Oh, this is your card, Strength. The card of Strength reverse, the card of Leo. So, with your card coming out reverse, it definitely makes me feel like you're not feeling like yourself. You're not feeling like yourself. You're not in your element. You're not in your strength. You're feeling weak. The opposite of strength is weakness. So it's like you're feeling weak. You're feeling shy, perhaps. For some of you, you're feeling timid. Your energy is low. Okay, what else do we have? We have here the Six of Pentacles upright. So I feel like you're trying to create balance between you and somebody else. Um, this is an energy of, of, of reciprocation, of two people giving to each other equally. So I do feel like this is what you're looking for here, balance in a relationship. We have here the Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, so I do feel like with this card, there has been some sort of loss or separation or heartbreak. Um, there's some sort of bad energy here between you and somebody else. Um, an energy here of resentment or disappointment or sadness. So it, it, is, it is reversed, so it does look like somebody's trying to, to bring balance to their emotions again. But they're not happy though. They're definitely not happy. They're not satisfied. Um, it's an energy of being upset here. So someone is upset there. What else do we have? We have the Seven of Cups upright. So someone is looking at other options. Just looking around for other suitors, other potential partners. Or this can represent just a confusion, you know, someone feels confused as to what they want, what their heart wants, what their heart desires, where they emotionally feel happy, where they feel emotionally fulfilled. So someone's confused about this. What else do we have? We have here the star card, upright. So it does. there is an energy of still wanting to fight for this. Like feeling like this is kind of breaking down this relationship, but still wanting to fight for it. Still um, hoping, believing, or I would say hoping that there is a solution. Okay, what else do we have? Might be connecting with an Aquarius, by the way. Okay, we have here the Six of Swords upright. So someone wants to move away from turbulent waters towards more calmer, peaceful waters. Yeah, someone is tired of the ups and downs, of the challenges, the conflicts, and someone just wants to get away from um, all that stressful energy and move towards something that is more relaxed and more peaceful. Okay, so um, that's kind of like the general energy I'm reading. So let's look at your individual energy, your separate individual energy. Okay, Spirit, please show me the energy of Leo in regards to love, please. What is the individual energy of Leo? Okay, King of Wands upright. This is your energy. Yeah, so King of Wands is a card of wanting to fight here, wanting to 
Like it's also an, uh, an energy of independence also. But it does feel like you want to, like you you don't want to let yourself um, get beaten or get um, get stepped on. You know, you don't want to let yourself be drowning. Let your, you don't want to let yourself drown, I feel. Like you want to lift yourself up and, you know, rise to the challenge and confront whatever challenge you're going through. It's an energy of a warrior, of a fighter. Faith. We have uh, also known as the Hierophant. So this is a card of commitment. So yeah, it does feel like you want to fight for a commitment, for this commitment. Also, this is a card of values, of um, principles, morals. So there is something that you hold um, very dear to you in terms of your values and your your morals and your worth your your sense of self-worth that you're not willing to compromise what else do we have yeah knight of wands reverse so you don't want to play games knight of wands can be a player you want to move past that um, maybe for some of you you were a player before but you don't want to be a player anymore for some of you yeah, so in general, this is a card of just not wanting to play games, wanting to be um, responsible and committed and stable and looking for something that lasts, that's long term. Okay, let's look at the energy of whoever it is that you're connecting to in love. What is their energy? What is their individual energy, whoever it is that you're connecting to? In terms of your person, it, we have here the Ace of Swords Reverse. So the Ace of Swords Reverse is um, withholding information, keeping information hidden, um, not, not being completely honest, not being completely truthful, hiding their thoughts and their emotions, not expressing themselves, not communicating. Okay, what else do we have? Again, Page of Swords Reverse. This is also an energy of communication. and It's also an energy of someone not wanting to speak, not wanting to communicate. Being very sneaky. This is someone who doesn't trust also. This can represent a spy, someone who's spying on you, who's looking up information about you, who's watching you behind your back. Very sneaky energy. It's someone who's very quiet and silent, um, but inside they have a lot of thoughts going on inside their head. And they seem peaceful and they seem calm, but inside it's like there's a storm going on inside of them. What else do we have? We have here the Five of Pentacles reverse. So this person might have felt abandoned by you, I feel. This can represent an energy of feeling abandoned either by you or by someone. Um, maybe this is some sort of trauma or fear that they have inside of them. But they're not trusting again. This is a card of not trusting, of keeping to yourself, of being very reserved, of being very closed off. So yeah, this is definitely very different energy than, than your energy, Leo. You're more fiery, you're more like a heart-centered type of person. And this person is definitely more um, manipulative, I want to say, more calculating and more cold. So yeah, that's what I see in terms of the energy, Leo. I hope this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.